Welcome back to Chemistry, It Is All That Matters, and today we're going to talk about density by displacement. So let's remind ourselves of the, dis the density formula. Density is a comparison of mass over volume. So our formula is density equals mass divided by volume. This equation, once again, can be rearranged to density times volume equals mass, or volume equals mass divided by density. And based on the units we are using for the volume, we can measure density as grams per milliliter or grams per centimeter cubed. And I remind you that you've got to love your density because density equals m over v, mass over volume. So we often get objects that are very easy to measure. You can take out a ruler, measure each of the sides, and then calculate the volumes based on side squared for a cube, length times width times height for a prism, a cylinder is pi r squared h, and a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. But what happens when you get that object that doesn't have an even measure or isn't easy to measure? So then we're going to use displacement. So here we have a pebble and we have a graduated cylinder filled to 60 milliliters and when we place the the pebble into the cylinder, the water level will rise. And that comes from Archimedes and Eureka when he figured out that the king's crown was not truly gold. And we'll learn more about that in physics next year. But what, what do we do then? Well, now we have a difference of 20 milliliters. So the water level rose from 60 up to 80. So that means this pebble has a volume of 20 milliliters. So here we have the equation. Find the density of the pebble that has a mass of 4.4 grams and the density found by displacement is 20 milliliters. Well, here's our formula, D equals M over V, and we're searching for density. So the first thing we do is identify our knowns. So we have a 4.4 gram pebble and we have 20 milliliters of volume and once again we did that by the displacement. We plug those into our density formula 4.4 grams over 20 milliliters and our calculation comes out to be 0 0.22 grams per milliliter but because we only have one significant digit in the number 20 because there's no decimal after the zero that means our answer can only have one significant digit so our answer is 0 0.2 grams per milliliter so now that you've completed both of the density videos go ahead and complete the quiz associated with this Sophia and continue working on your chemistry